bulking, cutting, or main gain. Three completely different types of dieting and the ones people choose in order to build muscle or lose fat. Today, I'm going to explain, should you eat more, should you eat less, or should you do both? In this video, I'm going to be explaining what these three phrases mean, what bulking, cutting, and main gaining means, and which one should you do with an in-depth description and explanation. First up is bulk. Bulking is the act of consuming more calories than your maintenance calories. Your maintenance calories is the amount of calories you need to eat per day to maintain your weight. Bulking is eating more than that maintenance calorie, you're going to gain weight. This is a great way to gain lean muscle mass. This is especially recommended if you are skinny or severely underweight and you need to gain weight. However, do not mistake bulking for eating a lot of McDonald's or fast food. There's a difference between clean bulking and dirty bulking. Dirty bulking is when you eat junk in order to get into that calorie surplus. However, clean bulking is when you keep your diet clean and you still get in that calorie surplus. <clears throat> Researchers found that muscle gain in both styles of bulking are similar, but fat gain in dirty bulking is significantly higher. So why would you do it? There is literally no point. Unless it's absolutely necessary and you need to gain weight extremely quickly in short amount of time, or you just don't have access to clean bulking food supplies, then fine, dirty bulk. But if you can, stick to the clean bulk. I recommend sticking to a bulk with a low calorie surplus. This means 100 to 500 calories above your maintenance calories. If you add any more than that, you're going to gain a lot more fat than muscle. Incorporate bulking with resistance training with intense resistance training to failure and your muscles will surely grow. This will enable your body to activate muscle growth and minimize fat gain. Yes, during a bulk, it is inevitable to gain fat. However, by keeping in a small calorie surplus, sticking to that lean and clean bulk, you're able to gain tons of muscle while minimizing fat gain. The second way of dieting is cutting. Cutting is eating less than your maintenance calories. This is especially needed if you're overweight or obese. The purpose is pretty obvious. You want to lose fat. To do this, you need to be eating lower than your maintenance calories. I recommend eating only a small deficit. This means eating 100 to 500 calories less than your maintenance calories. The reason is, is because if you eat in a thousand calorie deficit, you're going to starve yourself. The main reason that diets fail is because people starve themselves and the cravings just come back up. And most often times, people will not include the foods they enjoy in a diet. And that's why most diets fail. So how do you get a diet to succeed? Answer is simple. Eat in a small calorie surplus. This makes the diet more sustainable long term. You won't be starving yourself. You won't be affecting your hormones or your metabolism negatively. And you're able to keep that metabolism and you're able to keep that diet through for a very long period of time. And secondly, is to enjoy foods you genuinely enjoy. For example, if you enjoy pizza, add pizza, but pizza is pretty unhealthy. So why not make a healthier alternative of pizza instead of just eating plain salad and chicken and rice all day? Other tips for cutting includes prioritizing protein. Especially during a cut, it is, it is very common to lose muscle. So by consuming more protein, you are minimizing muscle loss and potentially you can gain it some muscle and the last tip is to prioritize weight training most people when they begin losing weight will oftentimes prioritize cardio yes cardio can burn a lot of calories but but it's not very sustainable weight training can doesn't burn a lot of calories but since muscle is active tissue you burn more calories during your rest time so add both cardio and weight training to your program but if you want to look good after a cut then prioritize weight training. Don't neglect cardio though. By prioritizing resistance and weight training or any other type of resistance training like calisthenics for example, you're able to maintain that muscle mass and your strength while potentially even building some muscle. And lastly is main gaining, which you maintain your weight and you try to lose fat and gain muscle, which I don't think it's a good idea. All right, now let's talk about when to use each dieting type. This all depends on your current body type, especially if you are someone who doesn't work out right now, you're gonna wanna watch this part. If you are skinny or skinny fat, you want to bulk. Skinny, being skinny is generally really unhealthy. And for some reason, 
being skinny is oftentimes seen as being healthy but it's not you're going to be weaker your immune system is going to be weaker your bones are going to be weaker basically everything about your body is going to be weaker when you are skinny being skinny fat is a little bit more tricky you're skinny but you're also fat with a, with a shirt on you look completely fine you're skinny but if you take your shirt off you're gonna see that belly so what makes a skinny fat physique in reality, a skinny fat physique is made out of a lack of muscle and a little bit of excessive fat. Skinny fat people don't actually don't have a lot of fat. However, they don't have a lot of muscle. So that fat shows. A lot of skinny fat people want to cut, but in reality, this just makes your situation worse. Yes, you might lose all that fat, but you're just going to end up really skinny because you had no muscle in the first place. So the best way to get rid of that skinny fat physique is to bulk. By bulking, you're able to gain muscle. And oftentimes, even if you gain a little bit of fat, that muscle will hide that fat. And being skinny fat is pretty unhealthy. Because of the imbalance of weight, even if the body mass index indicates that you're a normal weight, pretty unhealthy. This imbalance of weight can lead to a higher risk of chronic diseases like heart attacks and diabetes. To fix this, go on a clean and lean bulk with a small calorie surplus and making sure that you gain that muscle. At the opposite side, we have fat and obese people. Answer is pretty obvious, you need to cut. No, do not bulk when you're fat, it's pretty obvious. You're fat because you have way too much fat. You have an overly excessive amount of fat. From your reproduction system, to your respiratory system, to your mood and energy, being fat is generally really unhealthy. So you need to cut. The stress of having excessive weight can generally negatively impact the quality of life. I believe main gaining is a pretty bad idea. The process is really slow and you have better results and with a better time with just picking from bulking or cutting. This really depends on you and your body type and depends on who you are. But generally, this speaks to most people. If you're fat and obese, you need to cut. Take a small calorie deficit and eat cleanly. Incorporate the foods you enjoy. If you're pretty skinny or skinny fat, you need to bulk. You need to build muscle first. You need to build that muscle before losing the fat. And when you're bulking, use a small calorie surplus to minimize fat gain while maximizing muscle gain. And choose a clean bulk rather than a dirty bulk because a dirty bulk has no advantages and the fat gain gained from a dirty bulk is, is pretty hard to recover from. I hope this video helps you. If you enjoyed, please subscribe. Try to hit 1000 subscribers or I'll ignite this channel into flames.